What if you could generate AI videos in real time, changing the scene as it unfolds before your eyes? What if you could start with a woman walking and seamlessly transition to a bird flying while the video streams live? Today, we're diving into Crea Real-Time 14B, a groundbreaking 14 billion parameter model that's completely rewriting the rules of AI video generation. Released in October 2025, Crea Real-Time 14B represents a massive leap forward in video AI. To put this in perspective, most real-time video models today use around 1.3 billion parameters. Crea just scaled that up by over 10x while maintaining real-time performance. We're talking about generating high-quality video at 11 frames per second on a single GPU, fast enough that you can actually interact with the generation as it happens. But here's the really interesting part. This isn't just about speed. The team at Crea had to solve fundamental problems in how AI video models work, and their solutions have major implications for the future of open source AI. So what makes real-time video generation so difficult? It all comes down to something called attention mechanisms. Traditional video models like WAN 2.1 use what's called bi-directional attention. Imagine you're making a movie. You can edit any frame based on what comes before and after it. You have the full picture. This makes it easy for the AI to create coherent videos. But there's a catch. You have to generate the entire video before you can show any of it to the user. No streaming. No interaction. Crea Real-Time uses auto-regressive generation instead. Think of it like writing a story one sentence at a time, where you can't go back and change what you've already written. Each frame is fully generated before moving to the next one, which means you can stream it to users immediately. Perfect for real-time applications. But here's the problem. This creates something called exposure bias. During training, the model learns to predict the next frame based on perfect, ground-truth frames from the training dataset. But at inference time, it has to predict based on its own imperfect previous generations. A small error in frame 10 gets fed into frame 11, which creates a bigger error in frame 12. And suddenly, your video collapses into colorful chaos. The Crea team's solution? A technique called self-forcing combined with distribution matching distillation. Here's the brilliant part. Instead of training the model on perfect frames, they train it on its own outputs during training. The model generates frames auto-regressively during the learning process itself, so it actually learns how to recover from its own mistakes. It's like teaching someone to ride a bike by letting them wobble and correct, rather than just showing them videos of perfect cycling. The training happens in three stages. First, they distill the base WAN 2.1 14B model down from 30 sampling steps to just four. This initial speedup is crucial for everything that follows. Second, they pre-train with a causal attention mask to get the model comfortable with auto-regressive generation. Finally, they use self-forcing with DMD to align the model's output distribution with high-quality video generation. But scaling this to 14 billion parameters created massive memory problems. Training required four separate 14B models loaded simultaneously, plus auto-regressive generation, plus a huge cache of past frame data. On 64 high-end GPUs, they immediately hit out-of-memory errors. The solution? Dynamic KV cache management. They developed a system to intelligently free memory during training by adding hooks to free cache data as soon as it's no longer needed. This single optimization made the entire training pipeline feasible. Getting the model trained was only half the battle. Making it work for long-form generation required even more innovation. The team discovered that when you use a sliding window of frames, keeping only recent frames in memory, information from evicted frames leaks through the key value cache. It's like a game of telephone where whispers from way back in the conversation still influence what you're saying now, but in a corrupted way. Their solution? KV cache recomputation. Instead of just evicting old frames, they recompute the cache for recent frames with a block causal mask. This breaks the receptive field, preventing error accumulation from frames that should no longer matter. They also introduced KV cache attention bias, essentially telling the model, don't pay too much attention to the past. By applying a negative attention bias to past frames, they give the model more creative freedom and prevent it from getting stuck in repetitive motion patterns. And here's a really clever feature, prompt interpolation. You can smoothly transition between prompts in real time, directing the video as it generates. Want to transform that woman into a bird mid-flight? 
The attention bias helps the model make these dramatic transitions while maintaining visual coherence. So, what does all this mean for the broader AI community? First, Crea Realtime 14B proves that real-time, high-quality video generation is possible with models that can run on accessible hardware. We're talking single GPU inference here, not massive data center clusters. Second, they're releasing this work openly. The code is on GitHub, the model is on Hugging Face, and this paper details their techniques. This is huge for the open source community. The memory optimization techniques they developed, the KV cache management strategies, the inference innovations. These are all tools that other researchers can build upon. Third, this represents a fundamental shift in how we think about AI creative tools. Instead of generate and pray, we're moving toward genuinely interactive creation. Tools that respond at the speed of thought, where you can guide and redirect the AI in real time. Crea Realtime 14B isn't just a faster video model. It's a glimpse into the future of human AI collaboration. When AI can respond in real time, it stops being a tool you use and starts becoming a creative partner you work with. The challenges they solved, exposure bias, error accumulation, memory efficiency at scale. These are fundamental problems that will inform video AI development for years to come. And by releasing their work openly, they're accelerating progress for the entire field. If you wanna dive deeper, I've linked the paper and code in the description. What creative applications can you imagine for real-time AI video generation? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.